Hey there, Heather. Hello there. It's Jeff Cutter. Diamond. Welcome to Game 7 of the Philadelphia Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds. We're at the Baker Bowl as Game 7s will be held at a neutral site or basically in the same city where everything happens, where Game 7 would be. So just to spice things up. The Reds have Mario Soto on the hill against Robin Roberts of the Phils. The Reds have Big Big B. At second base, Pete Rose, right field, Joe Morgan, DHs, Eric Davis in left, Sean Casey, first base, Johnny Bench, catcher, Ed Roush, center, Aaron Boone at third, and Dave Concepcion at short. The other side of the coin, Philly's got Billy Hamilton, not that Billy Hamilton. In center field, Ed Delahunty in left, left field do at first, Bobby Abreu will play right field, Mike Schmidt at DH, Jimmy Rollins at second, Pinky Whitney at third, Darren Dalton at catcher, and Dave Bancroft will play shortstop. So, yeah. That's a pretty impressive thing. The Reds have won 100, 104 games. Philly won 121, which is like they're like on fire, on fuego. But the funny thing is the Reds actually have won the first three games of the, the series, and the Phillies have stormed back the force at Game 7, so we don't know what's going to happen. I'm 
Cool little short stop. Yes. And here comes Dante. Dante, fun. Danny Mirror looks decent. We have three down, so he knows what to do. Metallico, Yanks, Aaron Boone's coming to the plate. He says, I want to take down Boone. Boone's right. That was probably not the smartest idea. But for a while, we get some help.
and the first of all, 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 the and a sinker, that place for seven runs, check the line, and check the line, and Ryan Howard had twice in the game. Ryan's first, they're going to do the smart thing to get Ryan out and get certain feeling at the field because Ryan's first. They don't want to go for her hand. They couldn't even be able to go if they want to meet them. If they're short, they're going to be a bit tight until they get it. Okay, we're good. We're good. The center of our hand is good. And the center of our hand is good. And there's Davis. Davis. Down the line. Did he get it? Did he get it? Casey. And Casey in the center. It is Pitchfork. Chris Short does his job. 10 to 4. Looks like the Phillies are headed. Look out to them. Since the Nats are taking themselves out of the hell, we watch a 3 0 series lead. And makes the catch. For Schmidt. Mike Schmidt's home run will be in the Phillies 4. Not only. At least break the main slam here in game seven, but the two run walk off of off the ground to the grounds. Leans right to the chance now. So nice job by Jackie Walker, but it's time to pour a first short and probably pick the last few minutes. The point out, the end six from the lead. Down the ball right to Whitney. Big win. fan. Can you believe it? Mike Schmidt was named um, Siri matchup MVP between the Reds and Phillies. I mean, after all, he got 10 RBIs, including a grand slam off Vandermeer in the seventh inning. It was 4-3. to three. It was close. Soto came out of the game because they thought nothing was going to happen. Well, they pulled out the stop. Now they'll have to deal with the Dodgers. What a smart move, Klein. And they said, you know what, screw it. We're going to get Ryan Howard. And that helped out a lot. Klein surprised everyone. He took a pair of walks. But then McGee came in to play left field, which was smart. Pinky Whitley, two doubles. Schmidt with a double. Rollins with two doubles. Or Gray with a double. Howard and Bancroft. Yep, that's what happens. Game seven was supposed to be at the Fed, but with it being game seven, it was at the Baker Bowl. Abreu and Soto went deep. The Reds just got themselves pissed off. Soto did okay. Vandermeer just couldn't do his luck. He gives up the seven runs. Bucky Walters did well in relief. Robin Roberts won three innings. Then Ricky Botanico won three innings. Chris Short won three innings. Roberts didn't do so well. Botanico did okay. But Chris Short, man, this guy's good. I don't know if, when he'll start against the Dodgers, but yeah, that might be a bad move. But that's what happens. And that will do it. Ten to four. So this win. So the American League will play it today. We'll play it the 27th. Okay. So we'll give you the pre playoff preview, obviously. Because why wouldn't we? Uh... Uh... Well, here we go. Playoffs. All right. Series starts soon. So round two. 
Well, let's. Well, the playoff tree says that Yankees, Angels, Sox, and Twins. The Twins were the only one in the AL to actually upset their their better suited team, and that was Detroit. Whereas three of the four, yeah, only one non favored the Dodgers took down Washington. So the Dodgers are the only team that actually pulled off the the upset. So that actually means it will be Yankees, Angels, White Sox, Twins, and one name self or not. So Detroit, so Yankees, Anaheim, White Sox, Minnesota, and Detroit will be the teams in their division. So the Yankees will be East, and I will be West. The North will be Minnesota. The Central will be Detroit, right? Chicago will be the Central. Detroit will actually be the fifth team with their own division, but I don't know. But I don't think there will be an AL South. Well, I don't know what the fifth team is going to be like. But, yeah, Detroit will not be facing Minnesota. And in the National League, we got Philly, L.A., Pittsburgh, and San Diego. The East, I think the North will be Philly. I don't know. Well, Washington's East. Well, Washington's East. Pittsburgh will be central. Yeah. Philly will move to the AL North. NL North. Washington will be the NL East, right? Yeah. Or are they going to keep it? Yeah, they're going to keep it, I think. Yeah, so Philly will stay in the NL East. They're going to keep Washington AL North. NL North. The central will be Pittsburgh. The West and the South. LA will be the West. San Diego will be in the South. Um, the American League, uh, the American League balance. They're going to call it the AL balance and the NL South. San Diego will be the leaders in the NL South. So San Diego will split from Los Angeles. All right, so the playoff tree and all that. Playoff coverage, round one. Seattle only won one game, and that was game one before losing four straight. Angels were down three games to one and actually came back to win. They won 4-2, 4-0, four, four and 7-3. So the Angels shocked a lot of people. They're coming back from 3-1 down. Cleveland... Got shut down. Well, game three they won, but the White Sox took the other two games. I thought that was a sweep, but no, it wasn't a sweep. My fault. Minnesota and Detroit, Minnesota won in six. Minnesota and Detroit were tied after two games, but Minnesota won game five. Was that the game we saw together or no? No, sorry. Minnesota won eight three and then went home, went to Detroit and went three to one. The NL since he went eleven four, five two and seven six. It was over. It felt like it was over. And then in game four, Philly won 8 0. Short took down Cueto. Philly won 12 5 in game five. Alexander beat Vandermeer. Game six, they won 6 5 thanks to Schmidt's walk off off Dibble. And then the seventh was that 10 4 lead. Since he had it right in the paws and they toasted it. Dodgers lost game two to Washington, but no big deal. They won the last three. Pittsburgh swept 3 0, 9 3, 9 1, 4 2. So they only gave up six runs in four games. Uh, San Diego was up three games one, lost game five, but one game six, thanks to Manny Jones. So, no big deal. Now we've got round two. Yankees and Angels. Yankees overall number one. Well, 119 games. Angels 113 wins. Their home road splits. Yankees won four out of six against the Angels in the postseason. I mean, in the regular season. So, the Yankees are practically favored. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Well, we do need to take a look at the Yankees, Angels, White Sox, Minnesota. 
Philly, LA, and Pittsburgh, San Diego, see if there are any uh, injuries. The White Sox against Minnesota, 150 wins for them. For the White Sox, 108 for Minnesota. Home and away. The White Sox only played the Twins in a three-game series, winning two out of three. So the White Sox might be facing the Yankees. Two true teams. In the National League, Philly and Los Angeles. Philly with 121 wins. Los Angeles 115 wins. You see the home away splits. They actually split a six game. They actually split six games with each other. Phillies and Dodgers. Chris Short will pitch game four. The good news. Well, I know Chris Short was used in game seven against the Reds, but the good news is Short is pitching game four. So that means he does. He's not. They don't have to worry about him being. Rusty, they have to go, they'll go with Alexander Carlton and Roberts for games one, two, three. So maybe the Dodgers might pull something out of that. Who knows? Pittsburgh, San Diego. Pittsburgh, 112 games. San Diego, 120. And San Diego won two out of three against Pittsburgh, so they might actually win. We could see a Los Angeles, San Diego NL final. We probably should, but you don't know. Pittsburgh's looking for the sweep. They swept the Mets, but now they have to do with the Padres. So we're just going to check the in the team um, injury reports just to make sure that the Yankees the Yankees don't have her her panic which hurt them because he's won 16 games he was 16 and 7 for them elbow reconstruction so he's basically done maybe next year too so the Yankees don't have panic but they still have and there's been rotation. Geetry roughing for Roof, I would probably not put in the front lineup, but that's their opinion. Well, who else are you going to make a starter? You could go with Lefty Gomez, though, too. Or even any Pettit. I would go with Lefty Gomez. So the Yankees. Let's go back to the injury report. The Yankees, the Twins. So this is just a first round preview. Minnesota doesn't have Eddie Yost. He's got a torn back muscle. He isn't really that missed. Bob Ellison's still fighting that concussion. So both Yost and Ellison were kind of bench players. So Minnesota doesn't really miss him that much. Wouldn't really miss him that much. The White Sox. Hoyt Wilhelm showed him ten tonight. He is out for a week. Let's see if he'll be able to pitch in maybe the AL final. If they get that far. So the White Sox would love to have a great pitching rotate a good closer and who was the other team help me out yeah the angels thank you the angels don't have sean figgins he's out for a couple more weeks he was kind of the backup second baseman to gritch jim emmons will be back shortly yeah they said he'll be back maybe in a few days so he might be back for game two or three probably game three of the series They'll have Emmons back, and that'll be big. They had to come back from 3-1 down. All right, so let's check the Pittsburgh Pirates. Babe Adams, torn UCL. The, no big deal. He wasn't really that good. Dave Parker's torn hamstring. He's still out for a couple weeks. That's not good news for Pittsburgh. I know they swept without Parker, but Dave Parker, the Cobra, that could still be a huge one. Ooh, Allison, LA, San Diego, Philly. The Dodgers just had Ron stay about a week. And he was the regular third baseman. No disrespect to Adrian Beltre or Pete Reiser, but yeah, no, they might need to say. Beltre, I don't know how he's done in the playoffs, but you know, we don't know. I don't know as much. My apologies. Uh, Philly, the Phillies have Kurt Simmons turn to UCL. He was a decent pitcher. I think he pitched the first month and then he got hurt, but Kurt Simmons. Well, Philly won 121 games without him, so I wouldn't be panicky over it. And the Padres, well, they just have Luke Gregerson, shoulder inflammation. He was a good reliever, but he won't be needed. And that's all we've got. So it'll be fun to see what we find out about every each and every game. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Diamond. Adam.